hello beauties welcome back to my channel if it's your first time stopping by to my channel my name is atunike so today i'll share with you how i achieved this lovely bouncy coily box braid using expression braiding here to achieve this gorgeous crochet braid so you can see what i'm doing i've already shown you the hair i'll be using from the beginning i use color one and color 350 I have one and a half pack of color 350 then one pack of color one that is two and a half pack of hair so as you can see i'm just picking out the tip of the hair just picking it out to feather it out so after that i'm going to be brushing the hair i cut the hair i cut the length into two because we are going to be achieving some coils so i still want it to be long so that was why i used cut two so that means i cut it into two so you can see what i'm doing now just wrapping my brazilian around my clothing rack after i'm done doing that then let's get the work started so sorry my camera was not really focusing here i didn't even know but you are still going to see another sample which that focus very well so you can see what i'm doing i twist the roots that is what is going to give us a perfect loop so that it will be very easier for us to crochet when we want to crochet it on our hair because if the loop is not perfect the hair is going to stuck on the crochet work which we don't want that to happen so I saw this air, I think on AliExpress and I love how the coins was bouncing for the price, the price. <laughs> I was like, I can achieve this myself with just three pack of expression air. At the end of the day, I didn't use up to three pack. So if you want to see how I achieve this on the budget, can you please? keep on watching and please guys do not forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell also so that i can be notified whenever i upload a new video and guys please do not skip my heart that is the only way you can use to support my growth also because i use money in buying all these things i use in making videos so please the only way you can support me and the only way you can say yes thank you for this amazing diy you do drop on your channel is by you watching my heart i really appreciate that so much because this is the work i do so please guys do not skip my heart and make sure you subscribe to this amazing channel please and please let this channel grow and if you have any amazing diy you want me to create for you just kindly send me a message on my instagram or drop it in the comment section below So now you're going to take the strand of hair, it depends on the quantity you want. Make sure it's kind of detangled very well, not even it's kind of, make sure you detangle the hair very well. Use your hand to straighten it out as you can see I'm doing. Then twist the roots. Make sure you twist the roots. Twist it very well. Twist it. Don't twist it so hard. <laughs> so just twist it. Then cross your hand, cross each to each other. You see what I want to do now? Just put your hand, make sure you cross it to each other. Then section the air into three. Take a little from the right air, then take a little from the left air. Do not drop the loop. Make sure you use your second hand to secure it. As you can see, I'm doing, then start braiding. That is all. You can actually crochet this hair like this if you want a straight braid. You can crochet it like this on your hair.
so after we are done braiding our hair then i'm going to take 10 strand of braid 10 strand section it into three then you start braiding make sure you braid it down make sure you braid it tight not really so tight make sure it's just normal tight because if it's not tight the braid is going to be loose so make sure you braid it tight Then when we get to the roots, if you want to use any curling wind of your choice, you can. But I don't want to use anything. Then I twist the roots. It's just as if I did a bantu knot. You know how they do bantu knot. So I want the coils to be so tight more than me using any coiling uh, something to coil it. So that is all. So after I'm done, you can see, I will show you all the ones I achieved. This is it. You are going to know how many strands I achieved towards the end of the video. Just showing you how it looks like. Can you see? I just bantu the roots like bantu knots. So we are going to be dipping this into the hot water. Then I dip it into the hot water. Make sure you keep on watching to see when I unravel the hair. It's very important. So I use my towel to towel dry the hair, towel dry, then I spray or sheen so that it will be very easier to unravel. I unravel the hair when it's wet because I don't want the coils to be too dry. If I unravel the hair when the hair is dry, the coils will be too dry and the coils won't bounce down. The coil is going to stand like, how will I put it, it to be so strong. So that was why I said it's very important for you to watch when, when I unravel the hair. I unravel the hair when the hair is still wet. So that is what you can see I'm doing now. Then apply some oil on your palm also to make sure it will be very easier for you to take down. That was why I use oil sheen. If you don't have oil sheen, you can apply some oil on your palm or hair cream on your palm. You know, I love adding oil sheen. This is going to give it like a factory look. It's going to make it shine, shine. So can you see the loop and the final look? Make sure you achieve this loop. This is what we want to achieve. Can you see how the coils like straight down? Not like, how will I put it? So it, you are going to see, watch the installation video. That is when you are going to understand what I'm trying to say that the coils did not stand one by one when we want to install make sure you watch out for that video so can you see how this came out can you see i achieved 16 strand inside one crochet air so this five pack of crochet air on each strand i i crochet 16 so total achieve is 80 strand thank you so much for watching